Hey guys, back with a new video. Since y'all gave me so many thumbs up on my last one, I did recreate this look for you. It's right here. I hope y'all like it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy. Start by grabbing our Tarte Shape Cape Concealer and Primer Our Eyes. I used to use an eyelid primer, an eyeshadow primer, but now I think that's just overrated because a concealer works just the same. And then I'm just going to tap that out. I feel like whenever you use a beauty blender, it takes away the pigmentation, so I feel like this keeps it there. And then I'm going to grab my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm going to go in with this new shade right here with a flat brush and set my eyelids. I'm going to pat that all over the lid. And then I'm going to grab my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Rope Bar, I believe. So this one right here and a fluffy brush. This is the Crown Pro brush in C511. I'm just going to take that excess off and we're going to apply it right above my crease because I do have hooded eyelids. So this just allows the color to be shown whenever I'm looking straight. So I'm just going to buff that out. There we go. And then I'm going to go back in with that flat brush and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone for right now. And it's gonna help soften that edge of the orange that we just placed down. And then if you want, you could go back in and further blend those two colors together. Just like so. Okay, and I'm gonna go back in with the same palette. I'm gonna grab red ochre, which is this one right here, and the same brush, same fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in lightly with this color. I'm gonna place it just below where I placed that orange, so a little right below, right in the center of my eyelid. And we're gonna blend those two colors together. Just like that. And a red and orange complement each other, so this the blend is gonna be seamless. Okay, and I'm gonna grab this single shade right here. This is the color right here. It's bitten by Makeup Geek. I'm gonna grab this Sephora. It's a fluffy brush, just a different one, a clean one. And I'm gonna go in with this color and place it right on top of that color, the previous shade. And this is just gonna help further deepen it up. Still flicking it out. This is just gonna make it more gradient. I'm gonna go right above and just blend, blend. And still flick it up. I'm gonna go back in with the shade. And here we go. Windshield wiper motions. I'm gonna keep on blending. And I think that looks good. And if you want, we could go back in with that first brush that we used. I'm gonna go back in with the real girl, real girl, whatever you wanna call it. Doesn't matter. Tap off the excess and blend the edge. Just like so. And now I'm gonna use the same palette again, and we're gonna use Cypress Umber right here, and we're gonna go with the Morphe brush. This one doesn't have a number, but it's a packing brush. So we're gonna go in with that brown shade, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna push it in to my crease, like so. It's gonna look messy and weird, but we're gonna go in and blend it out. I just need to place the color down first so we could get the pigmentation off of it. Just gonna place it down, see, it looks really bad. We're just gonna place it just like so, and then we're gonna go in back with that Sephora blending brush and blend it out Even before it gets pretty. But trust me, it comes together all at the end. And then, if you want to help you further blend it, go back in with that bitten shade and blend. And on that same Sephora brush, I'm gonna tap into Cypress Umber the tiniest bit. And then go back in. I'm doing circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions. Just like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab a Crown Brush Pro in C515. It's a tapered pencil brush. And I'm gonna go with my BH Cosmetics palette, take me back to Brazil. And I'm gonna dip into the black shade right here. And I'm going to apply it. I'm going to tap the most smallest amount. And I'm going to go right over where I put that brown shade. And this is going to be our last color to deepen up our crease. I'm just going to place it right in the center. Kind of blend it out somewhat, but not too much because we are going to go back in with a fluffy brush. But I'm just placing down the color in a windshield wiper motion. I'm going, if you hold the brush at the end, you're going to get like a lighter touch. If you hold it over here, you're going to have no control. And I don't like how it looks. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more black. I'm 
I'm going with a little bit more. Okay, there. Now how I like how deep the black looks. We're gonna go back in with the second brush, the fluffy Sephora one, and we're gonna blend that out. The key to a seamless look is blending. And I swear to you, if I were to actually record how long I'm blending, this video would be so much longer than I did. There we go, nice and blended. And I'm gonna take that pencil brush once again, and I'm just gonna deepen up the, the line. Since we did lose some intensity, I'm just gonna pack that on, like so. There we go. And I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and further blend that up. I'm gonna dip this fluffy Sephora brush back into Bitten. Since we are losing some of that red shade, I'm gonna further blend it out. Just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I cut my crease. First, I'm gonna clean it up and then I'll put concealer on it because if you put concealer first, all that concealer is gonna mix with these colors and it's gonna make a weird shade. And say if you're doing a natural color and no glitter on top, you're not gonna have a clean base. So I'm gonna show you as much as I can because this is hard to show because I gotta look in the mirror. But you're gonna cut the crease like so. I'm gonna keep going higher. And then with the end, you're gonna follow your waterline like so. And that's gonna be your guide for your eyeliner. And that kind of just helps so you don't have to put tape on your eyelid because I know some people don't like doing that. So that's just a method that I do. I'm just gonna clean my eyelid. I'm gonna do the rest and I will show you in one second. Okay, so I just cleaned up as much as I could. I'm gonna leave it just like that for right now. And whenever I got to the end, same thing, I just swooped it like so. But now I'm gonna go in with concealer. Um, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to apply it on my eyelid, like so, right in the middle. I'm running out, I need to get a new one. I'm gonna apply it straight in the middle. Like so. Go apply more. And then I'm going to look up. And wherever that line went is where you're gonna follow for your, your crease because that's whenever you're looking straight, that's how much lid is going to show. So the method is to look up and wherever that line is, that's how far you're gonna go up. Because if I just made the line that I had when I cleaned it and I look straight, y'all could barely see the glitter. All right, and I'm just gonna go in with concealer and a Morphe brush again. It's given a collection so they don't see the name. It's just a little flat brush. And I'm gonna go in and follow that line. And the crease. And blend this part out. the Sephora one and my chocolate bar palette and going with that nude shade, the white one that we set our eyelid with, I'm gonna set the concealer. Set it. So. And I'm gonna go back in with that makeup wipe and make this in nice and sharp. And then next, and now I'm gonna grab this Morphe eyeliner brush and I'm gonna go back in with my BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna dip into the black. And I'm just going to tap above where we place the concealer. And this is what we got so far. And now we can jump into glitter. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my Crown Pearl brush in C509, and I'm gonna grab my Lemon Head glitter. It's a space paste, and it's a gold one. Looks like so. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna show y'all a swatch. And then you just tap in very little, and then it's like wet glitter, but you don't need a um, you don't need a glitter glue to apply this. 
So I'm gonna dip in with my brush. It's like a gooey, like gel-like substance. I'm gonna scoop up just a little bit of that. And this is just gonna be our base, and I'm gonna apply this all over the lid. Just like so. I'm gonna and I'm gonna go in with the J Cat Rockin' the Night Sparkle Powder. This is a loose glitter and it looks just like this. And I'm gonna go with my NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead in this. You do have to let it like not, you have to let it dry. You can't really look up because then it will crease and it'll go into your fold of your eye. So I'm going to go in with that same Morphe or crown brush, the C509, and I'm going to place the glitter glue first. I'm going to apply a thin layer. I have it on my brush. I'm going to tap it across my lid. And I'm basically applying the glitter glue that's on the spots that are that didn't take the lemon head glitter. And I'm just going to apply that loose glitter. So I have some glue. I'm going to let that get tacky a little. I'm going to go in with the loose glitter now. So place the glitter, I mean the glue, just like so in the shape of the wing, and then go in with the glitter and press it right on top. Just like that. That's what we have so far. Bring you in a little closer, and that's what we have. And now we're going to grab the makeup wipe once again, and we can clean up all the fallout that fell, and then we're also going to go back in and clean up the glitter. Just like that so your glitter can have a sharp wing as well okay and now i'm gonna grab my elf liquid eyeliner and i'm gonna draw me a wing and most of the time people will prefer to do the wing first and then fill in that wherever the wood is left to place the glitter so that we want to be going with eyeliner your eyeliner is not chunky but i was lazy and it works the same you're just gonna have to do a couple layers so i just follow the shape of my eyelid going to do I'm going to grab my pretty vulgar eyeliner pot and then I'm going to grab a, a another eyeliner brush like so it's a flat one just a flat packing brush a skinny one and this is the crown brush it's a c432 flat line definer and this eyeliner it's a cream and it's absolutely amazing it's just really hard to get off like once you even when you put it it'll smear all over your face but it's so good and it dries down matte. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line my waterline right here where my lash line is. I'm just gonna stamp it in there like so. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Volume Express. And then I'm gonna apply my lashes by Lash Pop and Send Nudes. They're absolutely beautiful and they're really dramatic. But I love these because the band is really flexible. And that is the eye. And okay, so that's both eyes completed off camera. Now I'm gonna do my foundation, everything, and then we'll finish up the thumbnail. I'm gonna go with my No Problem Primer first. I'm gonna apply that all in my T-zone. I'm gonna press it into the skin. Just like so. And on my forehead. I'm just gonna spread it up. And now I'm going to grab my Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I like it. It's this is like I used it a couple times already. It does have a tint to it, it's like a foundation color. It doesn't show up on the skin. I think it does blur like the fine lines like I have right in here because whenever I used to not use it. And um I'll just apply foundation, my my smile lines would come through like really quickly, like maybe like an hour after wearing night and an hour, like 30 minutes after having my foundation on you. My smile lines will be peeking through. So now that I use this, it keeps it prevents that from happening. So there's that. I have glitter on my face, but it's not gonna come off. And then I'm gonna go in with the Temp 2 Boxy Charm Liquid Glow Drops. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my cheekbones, just like so. And I'm going to tap that out with my finger. Just like that. And I'm going to apply it. Now, like I said, I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and my Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation, the Super Stay one. I love this foundation. It's so full coverage, it blends in seamlessly. It's just amazing. And the color I'm using is 120 Classic Ivory. I believe my camera was gonna pick it up as not my skin color, but once I do everything, it... And I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in light ivory, and I'm gonna apply this in the high points of my face. So I'm 
So I'm gonna go like triangle underneath the eye, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and center of the forehead. Just like that. Grab my beauty blender and blend it all out like that and then now I'm gonna grab my wet and wild mega glow contouring palette and it's in Douce de Leche it's this one right here and I'm gonna go in with this light cream shade underneath my eyes and I'm gonna grab this precision beauty stippling brush it looks like this I'm just gonna tap that underneath my eyes And now I'm gonna grab my crown brush in C522. I'm gonna grab this bottom shade down here and bronze up my skin. Tap off the excess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Push it up. You don't wanna bring it down. So we're gonna bring it up. Just like that. And now I'm gonna contour my forehead. I like a, a really like bronzy look, so I, okay, so now we're gonna go back to the eyes and finish up the bottom waterline, and I'm gonna go on my pretty vulgar eyeliner, and I'm gonna go in with the Crown C432 Flat Line Definer Brush, and I'm gonna dip into this, and I'm gonna apply it heavily onto my waterline and bring it down a little bit into the lash line. So there's just in the waterline. See that smoke is already coming through. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this the bitten shade by Makeup Geek and I'm gonna flush fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend it out. Just like that. And now I'm gonna grab my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. It's oil control. And then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Times Omrizi highlighter and a Elf Precision Bronzing Brush. I use it to highlight. Just gonna apply that to my cheeks. Down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, forehead. And then I'm gonna go back in with the setting spray. Okay, now I'm gonna grab MAC Velvet Teddy for my lips. And that is the completed look. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to share and comment down below which I would want to see next. Thank you.